Hello friends, this is Nina from Nona and Nina's Book Club and today we're going to go on an animal adventure. So I have my poncho because we're going to go out into the wild. It might be cold at night in the desert or the forest or the savanna. So like I'm ready in case it gets chilly when I'm out looking at animals and I'm gonna be out in the wind so I have my braid so my hair will not get in my eyes and I will not miss seeing all these wonderful animals that we're gonna see on the adventure. So today's story is called Actual Size. And Actual Size is going to teach us about how big certain parts of certain animals are. And I mean, that looks huge. This is a huge book. So Lair, here's Nina's hand. Wow, that's really, really a big hand, right? So we'll have to find out what animal has a hand this big and what animal is that tiny? So this book is called Actual Size and it's by Steve Jenkins. And uh, Steve was busy learning all about animals so he could write this story. And I got this book from my friend Nona, Miss Cheryl. She had this book, but she said, you know what, Nina? You love animals, you love biology, you love everything about nature. I think you should read this book. So I feel pretty excited that I get to read actual size. So you see a very small creature on the page, right? And it says it's a pygmy shrew and it's only two inches long. And two inches is only just a little bit, like maybe, oh, maybe around this much. So that's really a small animal. So we're starting with a very small animal, the pygmy shrew. The next page, oh my goodness, look at this, my friends. That is the actual size of a moth called the Atlas moth. I mean, that is huge. Can you imagine? It's bigger than a bird. It's like the size of a chicken, right? Well, let's read about the Atlas moth. It says the Atlas moth is so large that it is often mistaken for a bird. So across its wings, the wingspan is 12 inches. That's an entire foot, like a 12 inch ruler, right? That's a lot, that's a really big moth. I think if I saw one of these, I would be super surprised when I'm out on my adventure. Did you ever look a giant squid in the eye? Have you shaken hands with a gorilla or been face to face with a tiger? All of the animals in this book are shown at actual size so you can see how you measure up against creatures both great and small. So we're gonna see all kinds of, and look, there's a little tiny animal down there. Let's see, what is this going to be? I need to read the tiny print. The dwarf goby is the smallest of all fish. The length is only one third of an inch. It's so tiny, right? Super tiny, but that's a real fish. Oh my goodness, the giant squid. They're gonna to talk to us about the giant squid. Lives deep in the ocean where its enormous eyes help it see the dim light. Do you want to see how big a squid eye is? Like, you can see my eyes, right? Look at the squid eye, my friends. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. That's just the eye. Look, it's bigger than my whole head. If I was swimming in the ocean and I saw a giant squid, wow, I would be so surprised, wouldn't you? It says in the book that the body and the tentacles are up to 59 feet long. And the eyes are 12 inches across. Wow, they couldn't fit a whole squid in this book, could they? No, all they could fit on the page was the eye because the eye is really, really big. Man, we're learning about animals on this adventure, right? The Alaskan brown bear is the largest meat-eating animal that lives on land. So, you know, here's Nina's head. You wanna see how big the bear's head would be? Oh my gosh, if I walked up to a bear or a bear walked up to me and it was this big, I would be so surprised, wouldn't you? Oh my goodness, let's learn how big the brown bear is. Its height is 13 feet. That's like two people standing one on top of each other, a tall person. And the weight is 1,700 pounds. That's almost a ton. Now, if you have never heard of a ton, a ton is 2,000 pounds. So this is not a bear you could give a piggyback ride to. No way. Look, it's just jumbo and beautiful. And it could be a mama bear, it could be a papa bear, but it's a big, big bear, right? Our next page is about the ostrich. Here is the largest bird, an ostrich with its egg. 
Again, look at how big the ostrich head is next to Nina's head. Like that's a really gonna be a big, tall bird, isn't it? And look at the egg. I can almost hide my whole face behind the egg, right? The eggs are really, really big. And ostriches are one of the birds that can run very, very fast, but they can't fly. The way that they are engineered, they're not flying birds, but they have speed and they know how to protect themselves. And man, they're big. Look at, just look at the eye. The eye is gigantic. It's as big as my glasses, right? Yeah, if we got to see an ostrich, maybe we would be out somewhere where we would see an ostrich on our adventure. A two foot long tongue. Like how long is your tongue? I don't think it's two feet long, right? Let's just all stick out our tongue right now. Y'all ready? <laughs> I hope you stuck out your tongue too because it's part of the adventure. But when I stick out my tongue, I do not want to catch ants on it. Look who does. Look who wants to catch ants on their tongue. A two foot long tongue. This must be a giant ant eater. Look. It can like put its tongue out just like a whole stretch the tongue out, catch a lot of ants at once. It is a giant anteater snacking on its favorite food, termites. Okay, they don't call it a termite eater, right? They call it an anteater, but termites apparently are very, very, very delicious. And you know how sometimes if you ever have the pest control come to your house, you might have the orchid man, right? That's going to come in and spray for bugs. And they might spray for termites, but, termites, but I've never seen an exterminator show up with an anteater. And it seems to me like that would be a good job for an anteater, right? Especially if the house had termites, they could just go around the outside and lick up all the termites. But let's find out how big it is. Seven feet long, the body and tail, seven feet long, and it weighs 85 pounds. So again, that could just barely fit its nose here and the big tongue on this page because it is so huge. Oh my, some of you might get a little spook out of this page. I'm going to show you, so get ready. Get ready. Remember, it's only a picture. It's only a picture. It's not a real animal. We're on a pretend adventure, so we have a pretend picture of a real animal. So get ready, my friends. It is the Goliath bird eater tarantula. Oh my gosh, that is huge. That is so, so huge. It's as big as a pizza, right? A big pizza. And it tells me that the Goliath bird eater tarantula is big enough to catch and eat birds and small mammals 12 inches across. Wow, that's huge. Now we have an animal that is so big it cannot even fit what they want to show us on two pages. So we start with this animal. What do you think it looks like? Hmm, it's not a mammal, is it? What kind of animal do you think it might be? I see a lot of teeth, don't you? You think it's a shark? We're just gonna have to find out little by little. What do you think it's going to be? Oh my gosh, it's so huge. It's so huge, I gotta go way back here so y'all could see how big it is. Wow. Just imagine that is the head. That is the head of an animal. Let's read who it is. Because you know, you might be like, that's an alligator. And somebody else might say, that's a crocodile. And alligators and crocodiles are, are, are related. They're kind of like cousins. They're alike, but they're not exactly alike. They each have their own characteristics. This is a saltwater crocodile, the world's largest reptile. And it says is a man eater. So I mean, an alligator could actually take a person. That sounds pretty scary, right? I wouldn't want to be going swimming anywhere or standing on the bank next to an alligator this big. I want to see an alligator from far away. How about you? That's a huge, huge alligator. And you know, alligators are the largest reptile. They're the largest living reptile. Okay? If you joined our story earlier, I Love Dinosaurs, one of our other stories that I read was about dinosaurs and they were reptiles and they were even larger than the saltwater crocodile, but they lived a long, long time ago and they're not around anymore. So the saltwater crocodile got to be in first place of largest reptile on land. Wow. And it says the length is 23 feet. We would have to get out a whole bunch of long, long tape measures, wouldn't we? To measure 23 feet. I almost want to do another day where we measure in the parking lot. We go outside and we do another video and we measure how long 
that crocodile would be. Because it's hard to get your imagination around it, except when you see it's so big on the book, it helps, right? That's why it says actual size. Here comes a really, oh wait, I gotta leave this page open because the other side has part of another animal. Hmm, what kind of animal could have a part like that? We're gonna find out. I need to make it really, really long. Ooh. This is the Goliath frog. And you know, Goliath in the Bible, he is a very big giant. So I think they could just also call this the giant frog. He's the Goliath frog. Let's find out about him. He lives in Africa. It's big enough to catch and eat birds and rats. Can you imagine? Because birds catch frogs, right? But they, they could turn the tables over here in Africa because this giant, giant uh, Goliath frog, he could even eat a bird. And he's 36 inches long. So that's like, maybe like a child in preschool. I remember one time I took my son to the zoo when he was little and they had little drawings of the different penguins on the wall. And he stood up next to one of him and he was exactly the same size as a penguin and it was 36 inches. I'll have to find that picture one day and share it because it's just so cute. So cute to be learning about penguins. Now this tells me that its weight is seven pounds. So that's still a pretty good size. Seven pounds is heavy for a frog, right? Now I do need to tell y'all that the length is 36 inches with the legs extended. So if it was sitting down, it wouldn't be the whole 36 inches, but still imagine it's sitting down and, and his other feet are here. It's still jumbo jumbo rific, right? Wow, this is such a cool book. I'm glad that Miss Nina gets to read to you from Miss Nona's actual size book. Oh my, this is too close to a certain animal. I want y'all to look at it and see if you can get any ideas what animal it might be. It's telling me in the clues that it can go it can grow to 21 feet long, which is really big, weighs 6,000 pounds. That's like three tons. Wow. And its teeth are four inches long. What do you think it might be? Those are big, sharp teeth, right? Like if I put my hand in this animal's mouth, woo, and they decide to bite me, I'm in big trouble, right? Yeah. Has anybody guessed yet? Do you think it's an elephant? Do elephants have sharp teeth like this? I don't know, elephants eat hay and they eat grass, they eat vegetation. So I think elephants are herbivores and that's an animal that eats plants. I'm pretty sure that with these kind of teeth, this animal is a carnivore, which is an animal who eats other animals. This one, if you haven't guessed it yet, dun -dun 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 -dun. it's a great white shark. Again, I wanna see one of these from far away when I'm on my adventure, right? Oh wow, now we're gonna go out into the forest, into the rainforest and find the huge gorilla. The huge gorilla and the pygmy mouse lemur both have hands a lot like ours. So the design of the hand is very much like a human being's hand, but there's definitely a lot of difference in the size. Look at him, he's so tiny, so, so tiny. That one is the pygmy mouse lemur. Now let's try this out. Let me get my hand, I gotta get the, the correct hand. If I wanted to hold hands with a, with, a, with a gorilla, do you think I could do it? Like, and I'm a tall person, so my hands are, my fingers are long, but I don't think I can hold hands with a gorilla because his hands are like so big. And if you find this book in person and you get to look at it, you can compare your hand to the gorilla. Oh my gosh, it's jumbo, right? Pretty amazing. God made all kinds of animals in all kinds of sizes. So let's learn a little bit more about the gorilla. In the fine print at the bottom, it tells me gorillas can be five and a half feet tall. Now I'm taller than five and a half feet, but if a gorilla walked up to me at five foot, five inches, I'd be kind of surprised, right? That I would be running, running, running pretty fast if a gorilla got that close. It can weigh 600 pounds. So that's also somebody you don't want to mess with, right? The mouse lemur weighs one ounce. Oh my gosh, it's just light as a feather, right? And it says that it is only two and a half inches tall. So, you know, two and a half inches, it's like less than, than you know, your grown-up's index finger. 
That's really tiny. I bet they're super cute, but they have tiny little hands. Look how their hands are. Their hands are designed the way our hands are. Cause like, you know, like some animals like cats and dogs, they have paws and their, their paws are made differently than our hands. But you see a gorilla has the kind of hands that we have as human beings. And so does this lemur. So that's interesting when we learn about different animals on our animal adventure. Okay, let's see what's next. I love to learn about animals, do you? I love to watch all the shows about animals. Here we go. The Siberian tiger is the biggest of the cats. Imagine I could just walk up to a tiger. Like, his face is way bigger than mine. They couldn't even fit his whole face on the page, right? That's a huge, huge tiger. Wow. And isn't this a beautiful illustration? I just love this book. And it tells me that the length is 14 feet nose to tail and it weighs 500 to 700 pounds. So if we had a Siberian tiger standing right up to a gorilla, they could actually weigh the same amount. Pretty amazing, huh? And tigers have such beautiful markings, don't they? It's so amazing. Like, I just think when God started creation, he thought of all the colors that he wanted to see because there's so many beautiful things in nature. Now we have another animal that's named after Goliath the giant, the Goliath beetle. That's big. Like, imagine if I try to pick it up, I can't even fit it in my hand. The Goliath beetle is the world's heaviest insect. It is six inches long and it weighs three and a half ounces. So it doesn't weigh a lot, but you know, it's like, oh, pretty much like that's that long. If I would have walked up to a bug that big, I'm like, that's big. <laughs> but that beetle looks like a baby compared to this, right? Look at this giant walking stick. That is crazy, right? And they call it a walking stick because when it's standing still, it just looks like another stick on the ground and then it starts walking. So you like, you get real surprised, right? If you saw a walking stick, this rare giant walking stick is the world's longest insect and it is 22 inches long. That's almost two feet. Now I don't, it doesn't tell me where this walking stick lives. I know we do have walking sticks in Texas, but they're not this big. People say everything's bigger in Texas. We do not have walking sticks this big in Texas. Okay. Get ready for a really giant foot. This foot belongs to the largest land animal. Now, what do you think the largest land animal would be? Like thinking of an animal that doesn't live in, the, in a river, doesn't live in the ocean, it doesn't live, it doesn't fly. So it walks on land and it's really, really big. Like what would you guess? I wish I could hear all your guesses right now because I believe somebody guessed it just right and it is an elephant's foot. Oh, I wouldn't want this elephant to step on my toes, would you? That's really, really big. The elephant's foot is huge. Let's learn more. This foot belongs to the largest land animal, the African elephant. The height is up to 13 feet and the weight is much as 14,000 pounds. That is seven tons. Wow, and that's just the foot. Can you imagine if we got to stand up next to an elephant? A full-size elephant? I mean, a baby elephant is jumbo, but a, a full-grown elephant? Wow. That would be so cool. So it's got a little more information about every animal that's in the book. So now you know how we only saw the eye of the giant squid? That's how the whole giant squid looks, the whole body. So they made illustrations. Now these are not actual size, right? because we already had actual size on all the other ones. But you could learn more, and if you're, if you're like me and you're very interested in science and plants and animals, there's so many good books out there that you could read. I know we've spent a lot of time looking at these, so I'm just gonna give you a little teaser that every animal has an extra fun, awesome story in this book. If you find this book um, actual size, and then it shows you more, like a lot of these are their animals that we know that we recognize, right? And there's another one here that we haven't seen yet because he's coming out at the end of the story. That is the giant Gippsland earthworm. He's really big and he's found in only one part of Australia. And that's how big he is, oh my gosh. Can you imagine finding a worm that big? 
That would be pretty surprising, wouldn't it? It says the giant gypsum earthworm lives in Australia and he's 36 inches long. So this was a really fun book. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed our animal adventure. Um, we did see a lot of amazing things that we might not see in our own in our own backyard, but it's really fun to learn. I love learning about animals and I hope you love this book, Actual Size. And I wanna thank you for joining me today on Nona and Nina's Book Club. And if you had fun with this story and you wanna have more stories with us, ask your grown up to help you sign up for Nona and Nina's Book Club. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't miss out on any of our great stories. Happy reading.